Oh, for more on this, uh, I've got uh, SABC News political editor with me, Mzwandile Mbeche, just to give us his uh, thoughts on what's taking place. Thanks very much, Mzwandile, for joining us. Uh, Abra touched on a number of points. The EFF, let's start with that, uh, deciding not to participate because they feel that the process is flawed, uh, that somehow President Ramaphosa, as the head of the executive, uh, feels that he can do what he likes willy-nilly in relation to what happens in the legislature. Just give us a, an elaboration of their complaint. Oh, yes. I think uh, it essentially uh, stems from the fact that uh, the president announced her, um, announced the, 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 the former speaker, now the defense minister, as the, as the next person to be appointed to cabinet. Remember, at the time, she was still the speaker of the National Assembly. And uh, we are very clear in our constitution in terms of the separation of, uh, of powers, executive, uh, legislature, and of course the judiciary. So for the president to then announce a, a member of the uh, another arm, uh, having not resigned, so in the view of EFF, and I guess in the view of many people, was to say the president basically, it was an overreach in terms of his responsibilities, and they felt... Uh, so in, in, for them to go and be there is simply to rubber stamp what they think is wrong. So that's why they're staying away. Mm. And um, Ms. Uh, uh, Nosivue, do you think that she's basically, it's a fait accompli that she's going to basically be voted in? Certainly, um, because of the numbers that the governing party commands uh, uh, in, 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 in the National Assembly, um, but of course, it's a secret ballot. So the DA and other opposition parties are hoping uh, perhaps some of the members of the ANC may be persuaded to vote otherwise. But I don't think that will happen. But if it does happen, so of course, it would be something that would be new. Um, and it would be very interesting for our politics, actually. Yes. Uh, honestly, if it were to happen, uh, it would throw a completely new dimension. But of course, uh, here we just we just theorising. It's it's not going to happen uh, at this stage. It's, it's just a fait accompli. An unknown quantity, uh, Dr. Latreet uh, from yeah. the DA. She's uh, her name is in the hat. Uh, yeah. What do we know about her? Well, uh, she's been in the DA. In fact, at some point, I think she she, she did act as the as, as the DA leader. Remember, there was that the, 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 that gap. And I think she's currently the chairperson of the DA in the Free State. And uh, she's been also the, the, the DA caucus leader in Parliament. So it's someone really who's very rooted within the DA system. So she understands the party. She may have been born here in Johannesburg, but I think uh, most of her activities have been happening in the Free State. So uh, clearly uh, someone who's even been in several boards. Um, so she's got a, a number of know-how in terms of dealing with a number of uh, issues. Mm. And uh, I think she entered politics as a, as, as a DA councillor way back in 2000. And then from there, she's progressed. Now she's in the National Assembly. Yeah. So she's someone who's very well versed with politics as well. And just to come back to the ANC's candidate, um, there's a, a lot of negative news out about her, about you know, possible uh, shenanigans that she's been up to. Yet again, another high official in the ANC, um, you know, being in the news for the, for the wrong reasons. And of course, uh, people are very worried about leadership in the country. Oh, yes. And I think uh, the ANC, as the governing party, carries uh, the biggest responsibility. And of course, they will be closely scrutinized on every decision they are making. So one of the reasons uh, people are really closely uh, looking at this because there are some allegations and there are some issues that remain unresolved uh, with regards to uh, Mama Pisangagula. So when people see some of those issues not resolved yet uh, getting uh, elevated again, whether you call it a swap or it's the elevation, so I guess you can, you can leave it to whoever analyzes that. Mm. But in the eyes of perhaps some of the people, they would say, maybe we are not being taken seriously here. Um, but then again, there will be a school of thought to say, well, some of these things are not necessarily tested or they may not be true. So all those will, will, will come together. But I think the party at the moment is not enjoying the best of times uh, in a number of areas. Yeah. Remember, when you talk corruption and people would simply think of the governing party, uh, the president of the party himself, when he appeared at the State Capture Commission, 
he admitted to say, uh, well, it's unfortunate that many of the people associate corruption with their party. Mm. When those issues happen and they remain unresolved, they simply entrench the view. What's problematic for me is um, this idea that uh, we all write and say in the media that Nosi Vibe Mapisa Ngakula was fired. And yet she potentially could be elevated in the next few hours to a position where she could be the head of state when the president is not around. So that doesn't actually make sense. Exactly. So she, the, there was no firing um, in the recent cabinet. It was actually a reshuffle. You just... Moving the around. chairs around. Yeah, yeah that, that's what basically happened. Because even people who, who left cabinet, uh, Minister Mkize, so basically resigned. Uh, Minister Mboweni resigned. So no one was like got an ex. Um, even when the president announced the new appointments, he said, Nosivu uh, Mapisangagula will be given a new position. Yes. So she was, she was not fired at all, as you, as you have correctly said. Mm. Uh, in terms of our constitution, uh, I think she, she's the third in line. Yes, I think she's the third in line because uh, the president, the deputy president, I think the, 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 the national speaker. That's but of course, there's a number of uh, other issues that come into place before all of those things can happen. Mm. Mzwanjile, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much for your analysis. As always, uh, political editor Mzwanjile Mbeche just joining me there.